What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your main man, Really Rails. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back, and I'm back with something so mean and vicious, guys. Um, it's all been a setup. It's always been a plan. You know, I took a step back for a second to set myself up to bring you guys some amazing content. If you haven't already, please do me a favor. Hit that wonderful subscribe button. Also, like, share, and comment, guys. I know you can see it behind me right now. Um, I wanted to bring this to you guys in a formal manner and not just pictures on Instagram or pictures on Facebook. So I wanted it to bring you, bring it to you guys in the right way. Of course, you guys know you got to watch through to the end so you can see the super cinematic slow-mo that I got prepared for you guys and whatnot, man. But I'm going to take you around the car. I'm going to let you see inside the car and just let you see, you know, some of the main things that I know about thus far about the car, guys. So... I'm thoroughly excited about this car. Um, it's a 2022 C8 Corvette Coupe. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna take you through it, guys. Let's go on this journey together. You check out the car. All right, guys, like I said, this is my new 2022 C8 Corvette. I got it in torch red. Um, when you say Corvette, you know, red just comes to mind for me anyway you know i know a lot of other people got different colors actually my brother has um the arctic white which is an amazing color as well but you know me i just i had to go with the red and the black combination guys so um first and foremost um with this you know c8 emblems on the front i gotta clean up a little bit a little dust on it you know i've been uh been putting some miles trying to put some miles on the guys to get past the 500 mile break in but just look at the body lines right here guys this is one of the most amaz amazing features to me about this car is the body lines are so sharp. Very sharp body lines. Uh, you see the lights, we got the daytime uh, running lights uh, right here. Um, they kept, you know, kind of with the, the Corvette theme on the light. So lights pr look pretty good. You see you got a radiator on that side uh, right in there. Then we also have another radiator on this side right in there. Um, this is the 2LT, so it gives me uh, two front cameras. That's one right here, and there's one right there. So get two front end. I didn't go with the Z51 package, so I didn't get the front splitter um, because it's uh, it's different than this right here. It's not gloss, so um, when I get a front split, I want to get a gloss when to match uh, that right there. So uh, a lot of Corvette jewels on this car. You can see right there, it say Corvette. Um, it's a, uh, I don't know what you call it, like uh, not engraved, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and this, all this stuff right here is done in carbon flash. You can see the metallic in it. All of that is carbon flash, metallic. So guys, um, I gotta give a big shout out to my guy, Real Wide Body Nation. Um, normally when you see this type of five spoke on the new Corvettes, you'll see like a silver ring around the whole wheel. Um, but fortunately, I was um, able to obtain some all gloss black wheels from my guy, wide, Real Wide Body Nation Show. Major, major shout out to him, guys. On the front, we run the 245 35ZR19s. Of course, you see the brake calipers with the Corvette on the brake calipers. Um, what else we got in here? Um, got a little uh, guards right here, whatnot. You know what I mean? They kind of they help a little bit. So um, those. Uh, you know, keep stuff from flying way back. Um, I went with the, I got the body color uh, mirror. Um, I just like that red. And of course you see the carbon flash uh, accent on the mirror um, as well. Um, this is the coupe. So I do have the removable target top. I can take it off and I can store it in the back um, of the car. And I'll show you guys back there in a minute. This is what they call the body blade right here. It is also in, in carbon flash and the door handle is up under there guys so when you open the door just put your hand under there we'll do that in a second and you open the door uh here's the rear wheel rear caliper set up gotta have a lot of stopping power and on the back here guys we are running a 30530 zr20 so we got 19s in the front and we got 20s in the back and that back is a real real this is the widest tire i had on the back of a car and i love the way it makes the car feel hug the ground 
Um, guys, I, I went with the high wing spoiler. To me, in my personal opinion, if you get this new C8, you have to have some type of a spoiler on there. Now, some people don't, they didn't opt for that, and it still looks okay, but for me, for my taste, I wanted to go with the high wing spoiler, guys. Of course, you got your black Stingray emblem, and it's in carbon flash as well. You see the metallic in it. And uh, the back window, there's the engine bay back there. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna look in there also, but that's another reason why I went with the coupe, vice the convertible, because I wanted to be able to see the engine. I wanted to be able to put a lighting kit in there as well, which we got that coming to the channel soon. Um, so stay tuned for that mod. And on, across the back, you got Corvette done in carbon flash as well. You got some vents here on one side and you got a vent on the other side, tail lights, rear diffuser set up. Okay, you got uh, the exhaust. I didn't, like I said, I didn't go with the Z51 or the performance exhaust because I have an exhaust at the house um, that I'm gonna be uh, putting on. Um, and it sounds amazing. Once again, shout out to Real Wide, Wide Body Nation. So you got four exhaust tips in the back. You got sensors, uh, rear, um, rear sensors, one there, one there, one there, and another one right here. And of course the passenger side is gonna mimic the driver's side. So we're gonna walk all the way around guys. And then when we get back to the other side, we are going to um, go in the, into the back so you can see in the back where the engine bay is. Then we're gonna come back around and we're gonna go inside this bad boy so you can see how this thing is so much like a fighter jet guys so um one of the um ways there are a couple different ways you can open this back hatch um you got a button on the inside you also have the key fob but also if you go right directly under the e of corvette there's a latch back uh, um, button back there you press that it goes up and you just reach your hand in here and you just go ahead and lift it all the way up plenty of clearance between that and the wing so right here this is storage um they said you could put two golf bags two sets of golf clubs in there i don't know if i'm going golfing anytime soon so i'm not too worried about that now when you first lift this up it stops right here but if you need a little bit more room you can push it up just a bit more so you can get further in there guys and i want to be able to do that to show y'all this wonderful 6.2 liter flat plane crank v8 engine guys an amazing engine amazing setup um, I'm still debating on changing the engine cover right now. I don't think I am because the lighting kit, um, I'll be able to have this red back here uh, lit up in red. So um, you see the, um, the, like I said, the engine cover right there, uh, intake manifold, I mean the manifold and all that stuff. Um, you got torch red color down there. Um, wonderful assist, um, uh, you know, you got your hand assist right here to bring it down. Um, you know, I know some people use this, but you know, Corvette put this here for a specific reason. So I like to use this myself. So um, we're gonna bring this down. And the wonderful thing about how this closes, you just get it down and let it, let it touch. And then it's a soft close. So you just touch it and then it closes the rest of the way for you. Yes, sir, guys. So um, like I said, it's a beautiful car, beautiful color torch red. So now guys, um, before we get inside, I want to show you that this car is equipped with Wi-Fi as well as OnStar. You know what I mean? So, uh, let's, like I said, up under here is the door handle. You, you grab it and open, and you can get in there, guys. And as you can see, I went with the GT2 seats, and I also went with the, um, the two-tone. I like the two-tone. I like the natural, but I didn't want all natural down the middle because I know that's the part get worn the most. So I wanted to have black down the middle. So I went with the GT2 seats and the two-tone. Another thing I like about the GT2 seats is there's carbon fiber uh, on the seats. Carbon fiber. I also went with the red seat belts. Um, I thought that played well with the natural as well as the red uh, car. Nice bolsters on the seats. Uh, they really hug you. You can do all your adjustments from down here. This is how you adjust the bolster, of course, forward, back, and you know the lumbar and all that type of stuff, guys. Uh, you got your Stingray kick plate right here. Very clean, very clean. And we're gonna go to the door. You, you can see I have the, uh, with me going with the LT2, I got the Bose Performance Series system, which has, uh, I believe it's 14 um, speakers. It's either 12 or 14 um, speakers um, in here. And of course you get, you know, you can, you know, set your seating right here and your exit. <clears throat> 
And another thing I love about this interior is the stitching, the natural stitching, of course, that goes into play with the natural interior, guys. This right here is your exit button. So it's, it's you know, it's electronic, you know, so there's a way if your battery goes dead, you can still get out of the car. Um, here's your lock and unlock buttons. Right here, we have windows up and down. We got power folding mirrors right here. And then here's how you adjust your mirrors there. Now, um, as I told you guys, if the power goes out and you're in the car, you need to get out. You have this emergency latch right here, guys. Um, here's the heads up display information right here. Here's the power um, uh, steering wheel adjustment. Um, telescopic steering wheel adjustment. Of course, you got your pedal shifters right here on both sides. See the other one over there. Up under here, you got your parking brake and you have uh, the dimmer for your gauges. See the um, pedals, footrest, brake is there. And like I said, these are some amazing seats. Got heated and cool seats here. And so let me get in there, guys. Alrighty, guys. Um, this never gets old. I love this view. Um, beautiful Corvette emblem right here. Um, you have um, where you're able to scroll through your gauges and stuff right here. You got your heated steering wheel. Um, you got your voice commands, telephone prompts. And here you got your cruise control, so forth and so on. We all know how that works. And here you have your Z mode button. That Z mode button puts it in the best performance. Um, uh, settings possible and over here guys uh we have our gear selector i'm not gonna say shift because it's not a gear shift it's a gear selector so you got park here you pull up for reverse you push in well let me start over you push in for park you pull up for reverse you push in for neutral you pull up for drive and then you push in for manual now you have to go to drive before you can uh, access manual to be able to use these paddle shifters here uh, never mind the red bull right there let me take a sip real quick yeah, you know, give me wings. So natural interior here. Here's how you uh, go between uh, different drive modes. There's a little wheel under here. You guys can see that wheel right there. So under that little wheel, you just take it and you go left to right or whatever. Now, uh, with the LT2 package, I was able to get the front end lift. My um, driveway is on a little bit of incline. So I didn't want a chance that I wanted to go ahead and make sure I had plenty of clearance. Traction control button here. And here's the front camera setup. We're gonna look at that as well, guys. Um, here, AC and heat vents there, there and there. Here's just an electronic glove box as well, guys. So you see this button right here, you hit that, and the glove box opens up, guys. So close that up. Um, basically the same thing on the passenger side. Um, guys, here's the amazing screen. We're gonna turn that on. Uh, I know you guys don't wanna see me in the screen right now, but um, uh, man, it's an amazing car, guys. Up top here, we have um, our, um, this uh, is the, uh, I think that's the Wi-Fi or whatnot. Here's the OnStar SOS uh, hazards. And here is the motion, motion sensor along. So that's pretty cool. So if you got a top off and you go uh, in a store or something and somebody stick their hand in the car, the motion sensor will go off. And we got speakers up here, guys, for, uh, well, microphones rather. Um, got your lights up here and you have your rear view mirror. Right now you see a rear view, standard rear view mirror, guys. But once I turn the car on, um, it's gonna be a little different, guys. And right here, here are your releases uh, for the top. There's one there, there's one there. And then you have the third one right here. And there's a, a certain way you gotta open this so you won't bust your knuckles, guys. So we're gonna get to that in a second as well. Now here is an amazing speaker right here, uh, right there on that plate that says Corvette Stingray. I didn't option to have it customized, you know, just because I'm like, you know, later on, if I would decide to get a Z06, I didn't want to sell this and somebody have to have my name on it or something like that. Now also with the LT2 package, I got the wireless charger right there so I can just sit my phone right there in the charger guys so let's go ahead guys and fire this bad boy up let's hear what you sound like beautiful beautiful all right guys so we're gonna make sure we ain't got no music no or no volume to the music on um beautiful display i mean it never gets old um let's hear that um turn that off turn that off guys Alrighty, so now we are in. Oh, never mind. I hope they don't catch me on the copyright. Okay, guys, but um, let's take that to the home screen. All right, guys, so here is, I'm riding in sport mode right now, guys. So here is the sport mode setup. Now, if I uh, if I turn the, um, turn the dial right here, guys, 
we're gonna watch the screen change because we're gonna go into tour mode. So you see how it changes up there? So that's tour mode. So we're gonna go sport mode. You notice where you see where it says sport right there and then it gives you the icon. And then we also have track mode guys. So this is what the track mode display looks like. All right, so we're gonna take it on back to um, to tour mode guys. Um, let me go back one, two. Um, or rather, sport mode, because I like riding in sport mode, guys. Um, so we're back in sport mode, guys. Um, we're gonna go home on the big screen here. And you know, you got your basic setups, audio, phone. Uh, we got navigation in here, guys. Um, and um, you got Wi-Fi hotspot, user setting. Apple CarPlay is a plus, and this is wireless, guys. Wireless Apple CarPlay. You got your apps on star, and we have PDR in here, guys. Um, performance data recorder an amazing feature that's one of the things i really wanted on here uh, you got the camera my chevrolet Sirius, amazon alexa and then we got spotify right there guys so um with the buttons up here remember guys i showed you the front camera so when i hit that button there my front camera display show up now i can have it just the front i meant the uh that's the rear camera right there my apologies that's the rear camera and i select this one that's rear camera wide view so that's standard view and that's wide angle view for the rear. This uh, right here is just the front. If you can see the front of the car right here, uh, that's the front that really helps when I'm pulling in my garage and I wanna get it just right, guys. And if you see these lines right here, those are your guidelines. And if I turn the steering wheel, you see the lines move. So it keeps me lined up. And then here is if I want both front and uh, the top down view of the front of the car. And I could take those lines off if I want by hitting that button, but I think the lines really, really help, guys. So we're gonna uh, get up out of the camera. We're gonna go back to the home. And then we're gonna go over to the PDR, guys. Um, the PDR setup. Um, and it just, you know, make sure you use it certain situation, you know, in a perfect situation. So right now the video uh, overlay, this is what you would see. So if I wanted to be sport, I can preview what it would look like in sport. And that's what it would record guys. There's an SD slot that's actually in the glove compartment in which um, you can put an SD card in and record your drives. Um, it, you can set it up to automatically start recording. So that's the sport view. Now, if I want to go to track preview, that's what it would look like for track setting guys now come back we're gonna go to timing and that's what the timing preview would look like guys so um i haven't used the pdr just yet uh, we're gonna do some content with that so we can actually see how it works so i'm gonna get an sd card that i can um, put in here guys so we can check that out um so guys remember i was telling you about the review mirror um, once you start the car up it becomes a camera but what you can do is flip this down and you go back to a regular rear view mirror as you can see me in there but when you flip it back it's actually a camera in the back of the car um sort of on on the back of the roof and that, that's amazing and you have different options you can go to uh, you press that button right there and then these will make it dimmer as you see or you can brighten it back up then you can check that and next this is a zoom so if i want to uh zoom in closer i hit the button or if i want to zoom back out i like it about right there and check that and this is for the tilt up and down so if i wanted to go down it looks further down if i want to go back up it goes up you know i just like it right there with just a bit of the wing is guys and that's all of the uh settings for that there so amazing job corvette amazing job gm um, on this mirror right here. I think it's amazing, um, guys. So, of course, you know, you got your garage openers. You can program. I still have to do that because y'all see I got that over there. I just haven't took time to do it. And then we've got our mirrors right here with our lights, the vanity mirrors. So, we're going to fold that back up, guys. So, this is essentially the cockpit, guys. Um, this right here your settings, your climate control settings right here. This right here makes the passenger feel like they have their own space in their, in their own, what I like to call, instead of my finger, oh, their VIP section over there, guys, um, with this uh, divider. So, of course, you know, you got your temp uh, up and down. You know, this is the driver's um, heated seats, cool seats. You can sync uh, both of them uh, auto. You can say, hey, I want my car to stay at 70, and it'll adjust the temp up and down as it needs to control that temp at 70. Um, of course, you got, you know, your uh, rear defrost and all that type of stuff, uh, 
you know, just the different standard settings, fan settings, um, on and off button here, AC button. Um, and then when you get down here, here are the passenger settings, passenger heater seats, passenger climate, I mean, uh, passenger cool seats rather in the passenger temperature guys. So, um, amazing features in this, uh, guys, uh, look at the dash. You see it has the accents, the natural accents, the natural stitching, um, as well, guys. And I'm not sure if you can see where well, you see it flashing right there, guys, that is the heads up display guys i love that feature um on this car i don't have to look down at the gauges to see my temperature i can set it at different settings um to display what i wanted to display guys so it's an amazing amazing feature guys so i know you all want to see what this car looks like guys with the targa top off so i'm gonna actually show you guys what it looks like with the top off so i'm gonna crack the windows just a little bit both sides and we're gonna turn it off right now. Okay, and first thing I do is flip down the visors. Alrighty, and there's one handle to release. Here's the other one, release. Now this third one, guys, okay, don't just hit this button right here because this will fly out and pop you in the knuckle. So hold this and then push this right here and let it, you know, go down like that. Cause if not, it, it would pop your knuckles, guys. So. What we're gonna do is get out and we're gonna walk to the back of the car. Now, the other option I told you to uh, open the trunk, guys, not the trunk, but the back hatch is right here. So we hit that. We can come back here and of course we lift it up. And this is where it's gonna go, guys. So um, we're gonna see how I can get you guys set up so you can see me actually, um, well, probably won't show you show me taking it off or whatnot but i'll show you once i put it in the storage all right guys so we got it secured in the storage uh, there are two guides at the bottom then you just snap it in and then you you know you double check make sure um that it is in there so all we do is close this down and like i said it has a soft close so just push it and it'll close the rest of the way guys and this is what it looks like with the targa top off guys i love this look it's an amazing look, guys. Amazing look. I mean, it only takes me a couple seconds to take the top off of it and store it in the back there, guys. An amazing look for this 2022 C8 Corvette. Um, one of the most exciting cars I've ever owned. Um, and that's just, I've only had it for a week now. So within a week, I can tell you it's the most exciting car that I have ever uh, on guys and the beautiful thing about this you can put the windows up and you don't got much wind coming in so if you want to if it's a little bit cool on the day you can still ride with the target top off you know just put the windows up you know you might have a little heat blowing but you know it's just an amazing feeling guys um to have that top off and to be able to just ride and not be freezing cold or anything like that yes sir so like i said guys i wanted to bring this to you um in a formal way to introduce you to my 2022 C8 Corvette Stingray 2LT. Um, man, it's just a beautiful car. And like I said, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I do, um, I told you I had the front end lift on here, guys. And um, I'll show you uh, that in a second. Um, from the inside of the vehicle, you'll be able to see the vehicle raise. It'll raise it up um, just about almost two inches, guys. Um, so that gives me plenty of clearance um, with the car. So. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put the target top back on and um, I'm going to actually go here and uh, show you guys that front end lift. Guys, <laughs> that never gets old right there. That the entry display never gets old. I love it. And you got the Corvette in the over there, but that's an amazing uh, uh, display. Um, all right, guys, so um, we're going to start it back up so I can show you um, the front end lift. Make sure my volume's still down. We don't want no copyright, guys. All right, so, um, I, you know, with this front end lift, guys, it can, uh, you can store up to a thousand positions in the memory. Um, I only have like two stored in there as of now. So automatically, once I start my car in the garage, it'll go ahead and lift for me because I know I'm in that GPS location and it won't go back down until I actually pull away from my house. Guys, so what I would do is this button right here, that middle button, I hit the front end lift and I want you to look in the 
up there where it says audio up here uh look just above that and you see that vehicle raising and now what's up it only takes like maybe two and a half seconds three seconds max to uh, go up and when i want to put it down i just hit it and vehicle lowering just goes on down guys so that was the uh, um, one of the amazing features I had to have with this car, guys. So um, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out um, to check out my new 2022 LT C8 Corvette. Um, it's an amazing ride. Come along with me for the journey by hitting that subscribe button, guys. And we're gonna, you know, take trips. Actually, we got a trip tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna meet up with my brother who has um, also has a 2022. He has a convertible um, C8 Corvette, guys. So we're gonna uh, get together tomorrow. We're gonna create some content. So come along with us, guys. Um, like I said, join me for this journey with this car everything that i do to it you know we got a couple mods set up um it's gonna be an amazing journey guys so remember i told you i have a, a cinematic slow-mo for you guys so i want you guys to sit back relax and enjoy this movie here you go oh yeah guys i gotta make sure i show you this um for the front um so of course with the engine being in the back now um we actually have a front in the front and there's a couple ways to open this as well actually you have one way uh, on the inside of the car you have one way on the key fob. Let me see where my key fob at, guys. Oh, yeah, one on the key fob. So uh, you hit this one right here twice, well, once and then hold it on the open. But I wanted to show you the way to open it from outside the car. So you line up with the headlight right here and you follow down and right under here is a button. And it opens it, it's a double latch. So once we open the front, you see we got space in there put a couple small things in there you know what i mean um i went and actually picked up groceries and put a couple grocery bags in here guys you got a uh, storage right here you have another storage right here and you also have the cargo net right here and um buttons on the side you have uh just in case i don't know how somebody that small would get trapped in here but if they do they can hit this right here it glows in the dark so they'll be able to see it and you also have um the voltage so you can uh, actually put the, uh, the um, battery tender for the CA. They recommend you, if you're gonna leave it sitting for a few days, put the battery tender. You got your windshield wiper uh, fluid right there. Um, so guys, um, yeah, and that's that's pretty much it, guys, uh, on the vet. So I had to make sure that I showed y'all that because I talked about the front a little bit, but I didn't actually go in depth. So you just, like I said, it's a double edge system. So you push it down. I like to use my sleeve, guys, but I don't want to put my fingerprints on it. So give me a second. So uh, you push it down once. That's the first one. So when you're charging, uh, when you got the battery tender on here, what you want to do is leave it under that first one so that the cord can hang out and it's not pinched. And then when you want to go down, just go ahead and push it down. And it's all the way down, ready to go, guys. So, okay, now let's get to the movie, guys.